I think by the third time there was a critical incident, I, I was, I think I, I was upset, frustrated. The third time we had an incident where it was a hostage situation. And to respond to a situation, um, and then within the law, use force to protect the lives of someone else or themselves, it's a tough spot to be in. It becomes extremely frustrating when we know that by the time we're called to the scene, many, many, many systems have already failed them two, three, four times over. And we get the headline, obviously, because the ultimate happened. But no one is questioning in the same manner that we get questioned what happened before this happened. Who failed this person? Why didn't they get the services that they need? How did we even get called in the first place? Where is the same level of accountability? You see all these different articles out here, such and such has been arrested however many times. And we know the root cause of substance abuse or addiction or mental illness, all these things with different intersectionalities. Why isn't the headline as much on focusing on addressing the root cause of the issue as much as it is on the enforcement piece? We also want to do our part in this, recognizing that we're not always the best uh, response to something that's a public health matter. You know, you hear the analogy all the time, you don't arrest somebody for having diabetes, you treat the issue with their kidneys. So it's the same thing. Uh, there are crimes, whether low level or serious, um, you know, or more serious, and we're called. And we have to take enforcement action when we need to. And I would expect my officers to, again, utilize the training that they have, use force as a last resort, whether it's to protect themselves or someone else. Um, but we still have a role to play in it, but I expect them to do it with compassion. Folks know when they call the police, you know, there's, it's gotten to a point where we ask them or they're asked. Is there, they, they ask for certain criteria to see if this is something that a police officer uh, needs to respond to. But if you say there's a weapon or if there's a threat of safety, or we're, we're, we're there. And we don't necessarily know what we truly have until we get there. So then we deal with, um, you know, criticism of, criminalizing those who are mentally ill or using excessive force. Mm -hmm. And then we also get criticized for not doing enough. And we're in the middle saying, whoa, 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 wait. Can we figure out the most appropriate entity to deal with this? And if it is us, please accept at some point, we are going to do everything that we can um, to have this end where everyone walks away you know, safely, the, 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 the way they came and where they need to be. Um, but we might have to use force. So it, it really puts us in a pickle.